Apparently, every day comes with new drama in Nigeria these days. Earlier today, chaos and panic ensued between passengers and railway staff when an Kaduna bound train from Abuja broke down. Recall earlier this year, new locomotives and coaches were commissioned to aid interstate movement. But in what took a dramatic turn, one of the trains bound for Kaduna from Abuja developed fought in the middle of nowhere. This unfortunate development sent the passengers into a frenzy and some were filmed expressing their frustrations to the real staff. This breakdown is reportedly the second time it is happening in a week. Judging from the passengers' reactions, they were frightened. It's so tragic people are scared to be kidnapped following Kaduna to Abuja routes. Why the airliner's ticket soars high and to even buy the, the train ticket you've you have to give bribe to the Yachua Chua boys. Really? Give bribe? <laughs> Can you imagine? This is un unbelievable. To buy just train tickets out to oh, wow, this is this is Nigeria. Everything we just turn upside down. Everything is just upside down. Things that people do. And at the end of the day, what baffles me is, you know, we carry ourselves as if uh, we are so sensible. Oh, we have sense. Oh, some people from other world, they don't have sense. We are cultured people. We know how to do things. But ordinary things to make life better for us, it's, it becomes a problem. Whether because it's out of wickedness and greed. That is what, That is why it looks as if uh, we don't even know what we are doing. Things that can make our lives better. We prefer to be saying, sa, 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 sa. we prefer to be kneeling down, to be buying down. Uh -huh. Those are the things. This hypocrisy, but do the right work, do the real thing. It's a problem. You can imagine. We talked about this last uh, some days back. They went to go and carry locomotive, modern day things. But if they want to buy car for themselves, oh my goodness, they they go for the best. They go for the best of the best in this world. Our so called politicians, but because they know that they are not going to enter it. But these same people, once they go abroad, they they will see them on train. They will even stand. They will enter train. Majority of them enter train. They see how it looks. But wickedness to do the same thing, to even do better than what they have seen, is a problem. Because they know that they are not going to enter it. Because they know that they are only flying. They know that they have drivers, they have cars that will take them from point A to point B. So they don't even bother. They can put anything out in. That's why you see our educational system, the same thing. They are not doing anything. They don't care because they know that they can fly their children outside the country. Our health sector, the same thing. The same thing. They fly from the president to everybody, all of them. They don't care. Their children are all over the place, all over the world. Schooling. Going to the best school. Schooling there. Now, the Minister of Transportation, Amichi, was apologizing some days back. What are you apologizing for? You want to apologize and return some of, return some of the coaches, locomotives, things that they have used in another country. They now refurbish it, and you will be surprised the amount the Nigeria they will bus, they, they will budget for that uh, that uh, uh, those uh, uh, coaches. It will be even be more than buying new one, the modern one. They won't go for that, but they will quote money to get the modern one. But they will go and get nonsense. That is how they part budget. They part everything. Things you can buy for for say for example buy for ten naira. They will tell you it is it is a, a ten thousand naira, and they will budget it. They know that this thing is not true. But what do we have? That's why we say the foundation, the politics, the foundation of this country is faulty. Now they are accusing uh, Gowan of uh, theft. 
of a carrying this money. Those are, that's, that was when our problem started. This it, It's been a long time. Now, the only thing they can tell us, say, oh, yes, they are saying rubbish. You have to prove, prove it beyond reasonable that somebody cannot just like you say, hey, let's say people will know you. Who are the people who know you? The people who know you, what are they going to do? They will tell you that uh, you are good, you are this and that, because that is the hypocrisy we are talking about. It's unfortunate. These are the things that you I enjoy abroad without any inch. You don't even know anybody. Don't talk about it. Uh, talk to anybody. They do things accordingly. You don't need to be facing or be talking and be uh, harassing people. And like from the video, they were saying, no, they didn't even tell them anything. You are not even informing them. They don't even, you don't, they don't, nobody cares. Those are the same thing, the same attitude. The president does not even talk to anybody until so people will now whine him, whine him. And at the end of the day, it does not even make sense. When you are being forced to talk to me, to explain things to me, Ordinarily, they are, they are supposed to use your initiative. That is how it's being done. You will not do that. Then you tell me that uh, they are forced you to come and talk to me. Then I will not listen to that kind of a, a statement or that kind of message. That you are supposed to be informed because we don't. They don't even. They don't even. They don't even value lives. That is. That is how it is. They don't value lives. Things that you enjoy all, 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 in other places. You pay your money. No free lunch, you know, for those places. You do the right thing, you pay your money and you, you go. You you enjoy the, the services of what you have paid for. But here, it's a different thing entirely. And they will never change because of greed. What are, what are, all of them, they will sit die and leave the money. Even the money, they will tell you, oh, I don't want my children to suffer. I've worked for, for what my children will eat, my children to come. The ones that had money years back, are they still there today? Because of greed, and they don't even they don't, they don't learn. If this happens in normal nations, and that is a big, if help will arrive at least in half an hour, relief will come from next major station. But our leaders are not known for good planning. Exactly, we like to depend so much on luck. Hey, in the meantime, those passengers are sitting dogs for kidnappers and Boko Haram. What kind of a country is this? Under Jubri, Nigeria has deteriorated to the level uh, we never seen before. Is it by force? They, they will tell you that a, a, a 16 years of PDP, they didn't do it. <laughs> what, so what you are doing now, is it not beautiful nonsense? Then of what use is it? You have to do something, you do it better. What is worth doing? It's worth doing well. What doing well? How is Nigeria going to repay Chinese loans with all these scam and dilapidated locomotives? All amenities are for the north with the money from the south. How can they embrace restructuring? This is the result of one chance government where lies and thievery is the order of the, of the day. Ordinary locomotives of 19th century, we are still struggling with them. This recurrence clearly shows the deep corruption that took place in the process of the purchase of these trains. When we are, when uh, they when they bought, and how long have they been in use? Roti Miyamichi should be held accountable for procurement of old and outdated locomotive train in a modern era. Is this the type being used in abroad? It's a shame. No, that's not the type they use now. And no wonder he said we have to do this. You know, he has been campaigning for campaigning for more money so that they will do rail from other places so that they will be able to complete it. These are the rubbish, beautiful nonsense they want to go and do now. They will tell you that they are doing They will go and carry refurbished a, a train and begin to tell you that, uh, and paint it, and they will tell you that ah, they have done this. Ah, they must borrow money. He was insisting that money must be borrowed. This and that. They wanted to use it for to complete some other rail, railways in other states, but see what they are doing. But believe you me, and that's it. They, they will go and, Get the same money and go and do good one to Niger Republic. See what we have in the country. It's not even fine. It's not even okay. See people here and there complaining here and there. See, you want to go and get the money. The money you are supposed to use to do good thing in your own country. No, you are doing it to a place that is not going to be uh, uh, beneficial economically. You see? You see? And they want to get more money to do that.